hello guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video and today i'm going to show you all the details of the new volkswagen t-rock so this is the facelifted version here is the key and let's go through all the details as you can see the facelifted t-rock has the new face so let's start here the new lights we have three different lights available actually these are the led plus lights we have the new bumper and the new grille as well as the new badge and the style package has what you see here has this nice daytime running leds we need the car to be turned on uh, to get it i mean i need the contact and these are additional daytime running leds and the main units are here uh, also if you go for the matrix leds which would be top of the line then you get the light bar that illuminates and give it even more uh, you know wider appearance and more sporty look i would say now the style package is actually really nice because it's clean in terms of design it's got this nice data running leds and on the r line which would be top of the line you would get more sporty bumper but also a different data running leds and i actually prefer those here as those are like the signature sign of the Volkswagen T-Rock. Let me show you the side profile. 4 meters 24 is the length, 2 meters 59 is the wheelbase. We have the lovely wheels here. Let's actually just check this out. So we have the 1.5 liter TSI in pure white color. I will show you the specs later on. But now let me show you the side profile here. So once again, nice dual tone. We have the new lights at the back and the wheels. So here they are, nice gloss black finish on the wheels. We have the Bridgestone tires on this car. And let's see the dimension, 215, 50 R18. So the 18 inch wheels on this one. We have this in chrome. And you can also get the black package on the facelifted version, which would delete the chrome and give you the gloss black details as well. I love the incline of the C pillar and the lovely roof spoiler as well. Now here at the back, once again, new signature for the lights. And also if you go for the matrix LEDs, you have a bit of a different signature at the rear. You also get the dynamic indicators as well. We have the T-Rock lettering, of course, and the new badge. And these look pretty cool. Now, these are, yes, indeed, the fake exhausts. I mean, just look at this. So not sure about that. But other than that, really a clean look. And we have this sort of like the diffuser. And let's check out the real exhaust. Yes, it is down there. So yeah, I think without those fake exhausts, it would be better. But other than that, really a nice and clean design. Uh, if you want to open the trunk you do it here so you just press it and here we are greeted with 445 liters nice square shape really a lot of room and uh yeah, have well, some additional area here maybe for a small spare tire and uh you also have the dual floor so you can put the floor on this panel here and then have additional room underneath uh, the floor of course and the hooks for your shopping bags are on both sides and of course ski hatch and you can fold the seats and get a flat bottom and even more room so really nice practical uh, trunk we don't have electric tailgate on this one and tell me in the comments how do you like the design of this thing we also have different specs here in the dealership. So you see it here. And I will show you those as well in different videos. So stay tuned for that. But now, without further ado, let's check out the interior. I'm sure a lot of you will want to know about the interior as well. You see the puddle light here. And now let's see it from driver's perspective. And before we do that, let's check out the materials. Look at this, soft touch, nice leather. And well, this is some plastic, but it's definitely better than on the predecessor. We have 
this gray element here, lock and unlock buttons and decent amount of room here. You can put a large bottle and some additional things as well. Let me show you the seats. Nice, uh, sort of like the Alcantara here, cloth and some leather. And now let's see it from driver's perspective. So this is the layout here, digital cockpit. We have the new steering wheel. And now let's see the dashboard. I'm sure a lot of you will want to know about the materials here. All right then, the moment of truth. So look at this, soft touch. So nice materials here and definitely a big improvement compared to its predecessor. Now let's check out the layout. In front of us, we have the digital cockpit. Digital cockpit now comes as standard. Optionally, you can get the digital cockpit pro. This is the eight inch screen on this one with the navigation and uh, the base one would get 6.5 inch, I believe. The air vents located underneath the screen. We do have some physical buttons here and the shortcuts, which can be very useful. Top of the line would be 9.2 inches and that one would be full on touch, I think. This is the Climatronic, which is, uh, in my opinion, a very good choice because it's easy to use it. So here is where you adjust the air blower and this is for the temperature. So not bad at all and definitely easy to use. So let's switch it off for now. Start, stop, off on button. That's always nice to have. Hazard lights, sensors, and the two USB-C ports. This is the gear selector for the seven speed DSG automatic transmission. And we still have the big one. That is because this is a facelift. So I think the small gear lever is reserved for new models. At least, you know, that's the policy that we saw from Volkswagen Group so far. And that is the reason why we have this large gear selector. And 12 volt power supply is here, some storage room. Electronic parking brake, auto hold, the cup holders, which are not adjustable. And this is in gloss black, so I'm not sure about that. Maybe uh, if it's an option uh, to choose this in different color, I would definitely do that so that I don't get scratches. But this part here is rather nice. So sort of like the gray element, similar to this one that we saw on the doors and also to this one on the main dashboard of course and you saw now that we also have the gesture control now the main armrest here in the middle you can extend it like this it's nice in leather very soft on touch and some additional storage room so not bad at all let's see the glove box well this is pretty nice and for uh, this size of a vehicle it's actually quite impressive and now a bit of uh, infotainment system tour and it's a well-known system it's the latest Volkswagen infotainment system and as you can see it is pretty responsive let's see the navigation so I just press this now we go to map and well yeah really good have in mind that we have also this protective layer it's a brand new vehicle so we do have this protection and it would be even more responsive without it. If you press this, you can also put the day mode, night mode and configure the things here as well. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's see this. You can also put the destination here, of course, and uh, back to the main menu with the shortcut that we have here telephone bluetooth connection and also the app connect so either the android auto or apple carplay of course are available back to the menu assist systems this car is packed with technology it's got the new safety systems as well you can configure them here by just pressing this or you can just go to settings and now have the list of your driver assist settings acc you can adjust it here and uh configure you know the way those systems work front assist advanced warning you can put it to medium early late or switch it off which i would not recommend lane assist you can turn on the steering wheel vibration road sign display 
driver alert system and proactive occupant protection. So this function detects critical traffic situations and prepares for a potential crash by tightening the front seat belts and partially closing any windows that are open. Okay, so definitely uh, in terms of safety, 10 out of 10, you can also go for some additional features. And really in this class, definitely an impressive uh, you know, amount of safety equipment that this car offers. Media, of course, if you put it here with your USB-C app connect I showed you that the vehicle settings so here is where you can see the status and those two reports that you see here please switch on light and please refuel as the range is only 25 kilometers and here you see tire pressure and the status of your vehicle and when you press this selection you can also configure what you see on the digital cockpit so there are a few views available you see here for example on the left we have the driver assist and on our right we have the audio but we don't have playable files right now anyway you can configure that out so you can have the view 2 for example view 3 this is like the navigation view of course if you had the root guidance on it would make sense the classic view would be my favorite because you have the gear on your left and the speed on your right so that's quite nice and speaking about the views you can also configure them here of course so you can change the view by just pressing the view button and this steering wheel is really nice because we have the classic uh, buttons that is what you get in the style and then i believe in our line you would get the uh, different kind of steering wheel with those touch sensitive buttons panels and i think this one is easier for you know driving and to configure it out and let's see if we can put on also the navigation so just a second show map and cluster and now here you see we have the lovely view with the navigation in the middle and this would be my favorite so the dials and the navigation all here in front of us so that's quite cool now let's go back to the main menu and uh, yeah well those were the vehicle selection uh, settings and now here you can also press the settings for all the settings that are available so the light stars and stuff like that let's see the interior lighting door background lighting footwell background lighting so you see it here this is it and of course uh, since it's daylight I can't show you much of it of course during the night I think uh, it could be seen in nicer way but anyway it is what it is you can adjust the mirror and wipers opening and closing and uh, yeah well the sensors tone of the sensors and stuff like that bunch of stuff available here but yeah let's go back to the vehicle settings and uh, here you can also see the driving data of course here we don't have the normal data as this car uh, you know hasn't been driven yet but let's go back to the main menu sound settings equalizer position and volume all can be adjusted here and you can adjust speed dependent volume adjustment maximum switch on volume and bunch of settings here actually so let's go back air conditioning air care so let's see the info this function filters fine dust and pollen out of your vehicle's passenger compartment okay so that's nice to have and speaking about the ac controls i mean i already mentioned that you have everything here so i don't think you actually need those functions here but you can have it here as well 
you see you can also use the AC on this screen but yeah I think this is easier tell me in the comments what do you think about it let's switch it off for now back to the main menu and that's pretty much it we have the help users shop of course if you want to buy some apps after you purchase the car itself settings here is where you adjust the language units and stuff like that not gonna go through that as well that's pretty much it you see the radio media phone and voice uh, shortcuts are here on your left volume knob and here is where you can zoom in and zoom out the navigation so all in all really practical i love those physical buttons here so changing of the track changing of the view voice command okay you can purchase an activation code to enable voice command in the shop and here is where you access the assist systems and then you have the list of them right in front of you and you can adjust so that's nice and uh, this is for changing of the volume and uh, well yeah that's pretty much it when we talk about the interior let me show you the lights here leds nice led here as well there we go and now it is time to check out the space at the rear so the wheelbase is 2 meters 59 and without further ado let's jump on board and let's see how that looks so really decent amount of room here for me on one meter 87 and this is the lovely view on the front let's see what do we have here the air vents and we also have two usb-c ports this design element and in the middle the armrest with cup holders which i think hold drinks better than the ones on the front we have some storage room and let me show you also the situation for my head and this is it so look at this still plenty of room available for my head and once again a 1 meter 87 so big thumb up from me because i really am comfortable here so i can be uh, at the back even for long distance drives without problems so yeah it's a thumb up from me and now time to check out the engine and also i will tell you more about the available engines for this vehicle so first of all we do not have the hydraulic strut so i'll be back with you in a moment all right and so here in front of us we have a 1.5 liter tsi petrol engine producing 150 horsepower and what is good about the new Volkswagen T-Roc is that it's available with plenty of options in terms of the engines so we have a 1 liter TSI a 1.5 liter TSI which you see here 2 liter TSI that comes with all-wheel drive and 190 horsepower and also we have the 2 liter diesel you can get it with either 115 horsepower or 150 horsepower so really a lot to choose from tell me in the comments what would be your choice of an engine for the new t-rock all right and now the view with the daytime running leds and the led lights turned on so look at this from this angle looks really gorgeous and you see the lights here and the main units of course up so tell me in the comments how do you like it and let me also show you from the rear but i think it will be the same yeah so this is from the rear let's also turn on the indicators and now with the indicators on you see them here instead of the data running leds that you saw on those lights and we have them of course on the mirrors and at the back as i said these are the classic ones but if you go for the matrix leds then you also have the dynamic indicators at the back and now let's check out the specs of the model in our video this is the spec list 1.5 liter tsi 150 horsepower petrol engine dsg 7 speed automatic transmission the name of this color is pure white and we have the titan black interior package name of course is the style and this is what we have as an extra so we have the 18 inch grange heel wheels 
once again gorgeous wheels on this car we have the 8 inch touchscreen and discover media navigation and uh, yeah well uh, you can also pause the video here if you're from Croatia to check out exactly what we have not going to go through all of the details but this is the price of the model in our video as so tell me in the comments uh, how do you like this new T-Rock and uh, once again stay tuned as I will film the different specs as well and that's it for now thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe for more and see you on the next one bye bye